Hi, everybody. Welcome to Coach Playbook with Paul Lapolis, your home for elite CFO breakdown analysis. Gray Cup week. Let's talk about week eight, Winnipeg-Toronto. We're going to break down that game. Now, we're going to look at Winnipeg's offense. There's some good things they did in this game. I'm also going to break down the Toronto defense. Uh, the Toronto defense, if you want to look at the mistakes Winnipeg made, there are a bunch of them in the Toronto defensive breakdown. I'll post that one too. Um, so offensively for Winnipeg, uh, Zach at 78% completion, 317 yards passing. Um, you know, the, the issue was they only had 17 first downs. They didn't get a lot of first downs. Um, they passed for 317 yards as I look at it. But two issues, five sacks and five turnovers. Yeah, you heard me, five turnovers, and that's why they lost the game. Um, you know, in second and long, they were three of 12 for second and long, three of 13. So they really struggled in some of those areas. Um, but the key was there was five critical plays. They had a bunch of turnovers in field goal range. They turned the ball over on a third and one late in the game. So you can look at that on the Toronto defensive good clips. But for right now, you can look here. We're going to open the playbook on Winnipeg's offense in week eight versus Toronto Argonauts. One of the things going to have to be part of this game plan, I noticed it uh, the first time these two teams played, is zone pressures. The Argos love to bring zone pressure and people coming off edges. So what do you do? When you have a run called, you also build in a screen pass so you can get the ball out to your receivers and let them run with it in case they try to pressure. These are called uh, kills. When they try to run blitz you, you kill the blitz by throwing it out on the perimeter, or you can call these RPOs. But these are designed to give more options than running it off into what's called loaded boxes, extra people, one, two, three, four, five, six, here comes the seventh guy. So you throw the ball outside, get it to your receivers, let them make some plays. Great read, great decision, great catch by Clercius here. Uh, take, get shot, but the recognition of the pressure and the safety's moving. So there's gonna be pressure here, a blitz off this edge. The safeties are going to split. This is called a middle open. So now there's a half field safety and a half field safety. Clarcius releases. Once he clears the linebacker, he goes in on, on a slight post and inside the safety. It's a beautiful on-time throw by Zach and a hell of a catch with contact to flip the field. Spectacular throw and catch. You can see it from this angle. So Zach sees, see this? The middle of the field is wide open. And now he knows, I'm just going to throw it to a spot over the top of the linebacker. And that's a great play. Really nice designed RPO by the Bombers here. Uh, Nick Dembski goes away. Opens up. Ontario Wilson on the backside. So this is a inside zone run. But if the backside halfback, or whoever you want to call this, the backside player runs across the field, which he does, that leaves a one-on-one. -on -one. Has a slant, so Zach's got the choice to take it or not. He has the, it's a run with a pass option. If he sees the picture he likes, he does. Great throw on time, nice first down. So you're going to see some of these built into the game plan, I am sure, especially as it be nice in BC place. You're able to throw the football because it's a game indoors. And Zach just takes that advantage throw because of, this player ran across. If he was still sitting there, he would have probably handed the ball off. Argos do this a lot. They take the will linebacker out. They play an extra DB, and then they pressure what I would call cover 10. One, two, three, four. Here's your fifth rusher, and there's nobody in the middle of the field, but they're going to have one deep player. He's going to come down and take whatever crossing route happens, and they end up having an extra player. But Zach sees this softness to field two. This is a curl concept. With a, It's a good zone and man answer. He takes that shot on the outside before the pass rush can get there. Nice throw. So we talked about this before. A three technique. Three techniques are over the guards. This is a good way of making everybody have to block without help. He's by himself, he's by himself, he's by himself, and he's by himself. The only guy who can help is Brady on his way out. So, and you can see right here, nice inside move, beats uh, Newfeld, 
but Zach gets the ball out of his hand in time. That's why versus pressure, you always teach your quarterback, hey, get the ball out of your hands. Take your drop and throw it. It's not going to get better, especially when they pressure. So great throw and catch to Wilson by Zach. Uh, Zach on the sally, pulls the ball off the edge as the defensive end crashes, sees softness on uh, Pookie Wilson. So he throws it on the outside, makes that nice throw. So this is just zone read. Ontario Wilson has got a curl route. All right. Before Parrish can recover, he throws it for the big first down. Nice throw on second and uh, second and medium to Dembski on the dig on the inside. A little bit of a move from the X receiver helped this cause. So the X is going to come in and then he's going to bang it back out and he's going to run a dig. He's trying to get Sopic to move and that's what Sopic does. See how he takes two steps and works for a little bit of width that just gives enough for Dembski and Zach to throw that ball in the window and get the first down. You can see it from this angle for Zach. He's looking right away, sees Sopic go out of the frame, throws it. You can see it from this angle right here. He's running right at him to pull him out. He's going to go behind it, and there it is. There's the space, throw the ball. It's one of the things Zach does so well. This is, the, this is you know, everybody playing zone, everybody dropping off. He doesn't see anything he likes. Looks like they got a guy going here, guy coming in, and then up deep. But he just can't find anything. So what's he do? He goes to Brady. That's a good thing to do. Throw check downs. Put linebackers in tough positions in space. And we're not talking about any other linebacker. That, that's Winton McManus. He's a great football player. But sometimes it's just too much space when he's running full speed. Brady makes him miss, gets north-south, and puts himself in a position for the first down on second and 10. So always... I always say this, you know, make sure if the picture ain't clean, throw the check down when you can. Love what Zach does here. Gives his receivers, his running back, a chance to be a receiver and get the first down. Nice touchdown late in the game for the Bombers. Wilson runs right by Benji Franklin. Franklin gets caught looking in the backfield. Sometimes as a corner, you got to make sure you're running. Wilson bobbles it but makes a nice catch. So there's a pressure. Look, there's another zone blitz. You're going to get a pressure from here and a pressure from here. You have enough people to pick it up. Uh, the Bombers make a little bit of mistakes, but Zach just takes his drop and throws it before the free player can get there for the touchdown. And here's a point. Sometimes you got four receivers over here. You have one receiver here. Now that player is really kind of eyeballing what's happening there. He's looking at the quarterback's eyes. He shouldn't be able to get to a throw all the way over here. And sometimes it's good just to tell your quarterback, don't worry about all this stuff is. Just take the one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. And that's what happens here. He just throws the one-on-one -on -one and throws it up for the touchdown. You're going to get a, a, a pressure here. Brady's coming back for his linebacker. These two have those two. And unfortunately, these three should have slid into those three. So you don't get a free rush here on the outside. And this free rusher does get there to hit Zach as he throws. But nice catch for the touchdown. So this is the great plays Winnipeg did in this game. Winnipeg lost this game. They had about five critical areas. I'm going to do uh, critical things they did wrong. That'll be in the Toronto defensive breakdown. You can go ahead and watch that if you're a Bomber fan.